right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. Yes, we might be trapped, somewhat trapped on the island, but it doesn't mean an impromptu car show will show up. Now, my understanding is there's a big car show, show, shoe, <laughs> car show, there's a car show happening uh, on the other side of the island here. But we can't get there. Like I said, the road is blocked off due to the wildfire and the road being damaged and all of that good stuff. So, usually, most people from Port Alberni drive out there to that show. It's usually about an hour drive. However, today, they decided since they can't go out there, they're going to hold an impromptu show here. I think they gave like two, three days notice, so we're going to wander through see what they got here in the town now remember this town might be very small like what 17 18 thousand people maybe 30,000 in the valley but there's some pretty nice stuff here there's a bit of money in this town it's a logging town a forestry town so there's some good paying jobs through the years so guys have got some pretty neat stuff and today let's go check out that neat stuff middle of nowhere who would have thought very unique rims on the Mustang here. Very unique 69 vert. So that's actually funky rims. I'm not a fan of the tires, but the rims, yeah, they get the thumbs up approval here for sure. First, you got, can't go wrong with 56, 57 Chevys truck. It's not a short box, but it is a tubbed big block powered Ford F100 so kind of cool kind of cool there's just definitely a few tub stuff here now this thing I think I've seen videos on this or maybe it's a different car yeah I think it's a different car oh wow he's got dual fours on it that's kind of cool not bad dart I like it but big block powered notice that uh-huh I've seen some videos on this and this is plain crazy ass first of all it's black and it's pretty straight can you imagine the bodywork that what goes into this to get it straight uh, slicks yep tubbed but uh, here's the prize yeah it's a full-blown freaking Hemi it's not alcohol injected even though it's got that type of hat on it it's carbureted those are big carbs uh, looks like an 871 blower hmm Pretty freaking crazy. Wow. Now, without a doubt, I gotta admit, this is pretty cool. It's an old 60, 61 Falcon, small block powered, big tires on the back, oh, wind noise. Yeah, super big tires, this is cool. Not a lot of weight to these things though, but what a great driver, nothing radical. But man, you could drive anywhere on this. Wow, that tire looks good. Holy, that is low, this car. Mm -hmm. Man, it's up to my chest even. Here, this is my chest height right there. See, that's where the roof is. Factory stall interior. Factory uh, steering wheel. That is too cool. I like it, I like it, I like it. Except for the Chevy hood scoop. The <laughs> that stall anyway. Yeah, every teach his own, right? Most interesting part is we're right next door to where we're stripping out the railway ties <laughs> right there that's where you saw me doing the railway thing yeah right next door and on the other side next door is the harbor right there super harbor oh yeah I love that yeah turbo LS that would work I don't know if it does but <laughs> just saying that's what we're talking about gasser wow look at the header tubes go right through blowing 
Can't tell if it's a big block or a small block. It's a small block, I'm sure. Wow, I'd get claustrophobia in this thing. And I'm a little guy. Look at, he's got the bars that pull out. Uh, it's definitely an older build, especially using that kind of checkerboard uh, aluminum. But you know what? Doesn't matter. It's still a nice. That would be a cool ride, actually. I can't imagine this thing would go like yes, freaking hell. You'd be hanging on. Rare Beaumont. Convert on that side. 68. 69 Chevelle convertible once. Uh, this, oh, sorry. He's got six. Yeah, 68 marker lights. Sorry. Uh, 69 Chevelle convertible in Hugger Orange. Wow, long time ago. 90s. I miss that car. It was a pretty fun driver. Always gets thumbs up. So this would be very, very rare. See, it's got the, it's got, you know what? This has 69 taillights, but 68 front end, I think. Hmm, or 69 side marker lights. Maybe this is a 69. I could be wrong. 68 across. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it is a 69. Yeah, my, my bad. On that side is a 68 blowing tubbed big block bone I've seen this guy driving around quite a bit so this thing gets used big tires big big tires uh, yeah uh, and the typical rough style rat rod body with uh, black ish primer so yeah oh I can smell gas from here all those carbs are interesting I don't even know what those are huh it says, I can't, re can't read it. Oh, that's EFI. Wow, fuel injected. How about that? It's, only thing is, small tube headers, that's kind of weird. Usually you want a more freer flowing exhaust. So big tubes are usually a little smarter. So I'm guessing oval port heads? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Sorry, sorry, that's a, the Sniper EFI, so that's very interesting, wow. It's got some old tech and some new tech on it, and super caged. This is bad, this is too cool. I had to take a picture of this one too. Huh, I like it. Getting a picture will be difficult because it's getting mobbed. <laughs> huh. So again, some more diversity, a big old four-door, right beside a big block, powered... Camaro 396 car. How about that? There we go. It's got the big louvered hood or whatever you call them. It's a SS. Would that be an RS? Because no, it would say RS, but it looks like the RS style girl. So, and then another lowered truck. LS powered, of course. So, there we go. That's the first part of a two part series on the road closed car show. That's what they called it. It was a bit of an impromptu car show. There's a big car show going on up island. So what they did instead of can't drive there because the highway was closed because of the fire. So they decided two days before this show, hey, let's just gather in Alberni here. So come back to part two. I hope you guys do because you know what? I'll have some leaving videos with all the cars running and I tried to get a burnout or two that they did, but that didn't work out as good. So, but anyways, hey, yep, coffee, it's on the table. Cheers, until next time. See you, my friends. Thanks for chucking out today's video.